On Monday, the World Health Organization said that the COVID-19 pandemic remains an international emergency. The UN Health Agency's Emergency Committee on COVID-19 met last Friday for the 14th time since the onset of the crisis. Following that meeting, the organization stated that WHO Chief Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus concurs with the advice offered by the committee regarding the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and determines that the event continues to constitute a public health emergency of international concern or PHEIC. The statement added and I quote, Tedros acknowledges the committee's views that the COVID-19 pandemic is probably at a transition point and appreciates the advice of the committee to navigate this transition carefully and mitigate the potential negative consequences. Even prior to the meeting, the WHO chief had suggested that the emergency phase of the pandemic is not over, pointing to surging numbers of deaths and warning that the global response to the crisis remains hobbled. Tedros told the committee at the start of Friday's meeting and I quote, as we enter the fourth year of the pandemic, we are certainly in a much better position now than we were a year ago, when the Omicron wave was at its peak and more than 70,000 deaths were being reported to WHO each week. Tedros said that the weekly death rate had dropped below 10,000 in October, but had been rising again since the start of December, while the lifting of COVID restrictions in China had led to a spike in deaths. He informed that in mid-January, almost 40,000 COVID weekly deaths were being reported, more than half of them in China, while the true toll is certainly much higher. The WHO first declared a so-called PHEIC as what was then called the novel coronavirus began to spread outside China on January 30, 2020. Globally, more than 752 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 have been reported to the WHO, including more than 6.8 million deaths, though the United Nations Health Agency always believes that the true numbers are likely much higher. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.